We're here at the 2019 IBC show in Amsterdam, and with us is John Schur. John is the president of the Telos TV Solutions Group. John, Hi. we're hearing a lot of buzz here at the show about next-gen audio standards and immersive audio. How is Telos embracing these changes in audio? There is a lot of buzz at the show here about next-generation audio, and this is what a prime objective of the Telos Alliance, and we have a number of products that are aimed at the technology and the adoption of next generation audio. Um, the products, for example, that embrace the next generation uh, technology, uh, a good example of that is our linear acoustic 5291 that we're launching here at the show. And this product enables the production of live Dolby Atmos. Uh, and uh, Dolby Atmos, uh, for folks, this is um, technology that's able to deliver an immersive experience to listeners. Uh, it also enables interactivity and personalization of audio. Uh, the Linear Acoustic 5291 is uh, at home in a mobile uh, truck, uh, encoding Dolby Atmos uh, for transmission to master control. Uh, it's equally at home in master control for encoding to formats like Dolby Digital Plus Jock and AC4 uh, for delivery to consumers. John, IP is everywhere here at the show this year. Can you talk about how the Telos Infinity IP intercom works within the IP environment? With the adoption of IP in the broadcast market, uh, which can be seen almost everywhere now at the IBC show. Um, we view IP as not the end, but the means to create innovative products. Um, one of those products is our Infinity Intercom system, which is a com completely IP-based uh, intercom system. It really uh, rewrites the playbook for broadcasters and comms. Uh, it's a system that, because it's IP-based, it doesn't require any kind of matrix, um, and it allows us to create innovative solutions like Infinity Link, which connects remote sites together with uh, a main broadcast site. The beauty of an IP-based system is that Infinity Link requires no additional hardware outside of your intercom system. So your belt packs and your panels instantly become communications devices across the IP network and they can take advantage of public IP networks um, to communicate between sites. Uh, IP infrastructure also makes it easy to integrate other technologies into your intercom system that might have otherwise been fairly complex to integrate and that includes our Telos VX system for telephony, um, as well as our consoles. Um, so any AES67 device is easily integrated uh, into that system. John, we're hearing that large broadcasters don't want to invest in racks of gear anymore, and they want to move more towards an OPTEX business model using virtualized software. How does Telos offer support for this trend? So the trend, there is the trend in the industry away from dedicated hardware. Um, and we've heard from many broadcasters now that have roadmaps to phase out their hardwired uh, audio processors and transmission systems. Um, they are converting to IP-based infrastructures, um, products that live on-premise in virtual machines, as well as cloud uh, processing products. Products that Telos is creating are based now on the premise that broadcasters want this deployed in a software model. And that software can be run in a variety of places. So it can be run in a VM. It can also be a container that's um, run in the cloud. Um, we also provide that for delivery to third parties um, for OEM use. Um, so this applies whether it's real-time processing, uh, whether it's file-based with our audio tool server platform, 
or whether it's some type of, uh, of software module that we deliver to OEM customers. So Telos is very much uh, focused on supporting the future of the trend of broadcasters moving to a virtual environment. Thank you, John. We've been talking with John Shore. John is the president of the Telos TV Solutions Group.